Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. Today we are going to look at something on um, sofa. Yeah, we are going to look at something on sofa. We are going to show you how to plot contours. You know, um, as surveyors, when we acquire data, we have different purposes or we have different data we even acquire. Um, we've been working on AutoCAD and we've seen some things we can do on AutoCAD. Now, um, today the data we are going to process has to deal with um, height values. Yeah, we have the Z component, that's the, yeah, the height. So we are going to see how we are going to plot it on so far. And then they say um, contour is, um, what they call, is it imaginary lines, yeah, be lines of equal elevation or something, points of equal elevation, yeah, something that they don't cross each other, you know, they have unique values and something. Like ah, you recall the definition of contours, right? Good. So today we are going to see how we are going to plot them. So now this um, so far, I think this is so far nine. You can I think we still have so far 12 or so far 10 or there about. So yeah, I'm using so far nine. So now without them wasting much time, let's go to what we can do today. So the first thing is that um you must have arranged your data in form of eastern northern and height, or as the case may be, northern eastern and height. But um, those three are actually important because that's what we need for this particular exercise. So when you launch the software, which is um, so far 2003, so far 9, <laughs> which is so far 9. So what are we going to do? You come to grid, yeah. You come to what? You come to grid and then you go to what? You go to data. So upon getting to data, you now navigate to where you must have maybe saved your data or whatever the case is. So your desktop, you go to desktop. So the particular folder on your desktop, you go to your desktop and you locate the folder, maybe you save it somewhere else. So we've actually created a folder called Contours and then this is the data we are going to work with. So we do what? We open it. We open it. So we have an overview or let's say the preview, let's say preview of what the data is actually. So on this um, next um, dialog box, you can decide to do some other stuff. The first thing um, you can view data to see the data you are importing here. Yeah, okay, we are importing data what um, point ID eastern, northern, and height, right? So point ID A, eastern B, C, northern, and then D for the height. So by the time you know that, you can know how you are um, fixing this your X, Y, Z. Remember that your X is your eastern, your Y is your northern, and then your Z is your height. Is actually well arranged. So if it's not well arranged, if you have your point ID, so you have to come here and then change your column, that your X to your column, B or column C, depending on where your what, where your eastern values are. Are we together? If your eastern values on column A, there's no problem. You change it to column A. If it's on column C or column D, just make sure that you indicate wow. it. Are we together? Good. So now the next thing is now that you do what you select the at, um, output grid file. So the grid file will actually be stored on this folder we actually created for the contour using that same name um, SH. That SH simply means spot height or whatever the case is. Yeah. So it's okay. So we now do what you click on OK. I actually unchecked this um, create grid um, report because we don't need it and I actually don't need it for this particular video. So you can actually check it or uncheck it, like click it or maybe deactivate that the case may be. If you need it or you don't need so we don't need it for this video so I unchecked it so you say what okay so the software will give you a notification that um, the grid file has been created you can see the file has been created so we can now do what we can now plot our contour so what do we do we come to what we come to map we come to new then we choose what contour map we choose contour map so for us to do what for us to plot that contour map or for us to have the contour map we have to use this um, grid file we created the software grid which is this actually so we do what we open it upon opening it we can see that what the contour has been what the contour has been plotted so you can see it's very simple it's very fast and then um, you can just do for as many as you want to now there are some other stuff you can do with this you know, maybe if you want to increase the interval, you want to know some other stuff. So the first thing is just what you click on the contour. So you see um, contour properties. Yeah, the 
contour property. So you have um, where you store it, maybe the location, you have the level, then you have the layer. So the levels here, maybe you can just click on the levels to do or to change the interval. Like now, if we reduce this interval to 0 0.1, we are going to see that the contour will be more applied. You see that the contour is now more, the lines are more. The same thing happens if we perhaps reduce it or maybe we increase it rather, let's say 0 0.9. Remember the default was 0 0.5. So you can now see that it's a bit scanty. So these are some other stuff you can do. Maybe line, you want to change the line style, you want to change the line type and the rest of that. But basically what I'm concerned with now or what we want to show you on this video is the interval. So now let's leave it at that 0 0.5. It's actually better that way. So that then, um, but we actually have to show you that you can edit those stuff. Good. So apply and then let's say okay. So this is your console. Now remember that you can still move this thing to AutoCAD. You can actually move this thing to AutoCAD. So we are just going to show you how you can as well or how you can move this the contour you've actually generated on so far or the contour you draw maybe you drew on so far how you can move it to how you can move it to AutoCAD. So it's very simple. You come to files or file rather and then you click on you click on export. You click on export. So um there are different well, there are different um, um file extension there yeah. but what we need is um any AutoCAD extension which is um, the DXF that we have here. So we click on the DXF and then we give it a name. So let's say we are giving it um, this just D D D D D as the case may be. So now this particular file name will be saved as an AutoCAD file type. So that by the time we go on AutoCAD, we can actually access it on what we can actually access it on AutoCAD. So now we do what we save it. Are we together? So um, export options. I'm not sure there is anything we should consider or maybe bother ourselves here so just say okay so we now have this particular contour in an autocad or in an autocad um, extension that we can actually access for autocad so how do we confirm what we've done we launch the autocad software which i'm doing right now so we launch the software then we do what upon launching the software we open to that particular um, that particular file we open to that particular file so um without spending much time i'm just going to use the shortcut open uh, open right good enter so it's work okay it took us to the folder directly this did 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 are we together remember that this was the name we saved that autocad extension of let's say that autocad file type so we do what we open again right so we are expecting to see the contour we plotted on sofa we are expected to see it on autocad in the next couple of seconds are we together so if perhaps you've not seen the just zoom extent z enter yes it will come up on your it will come up on your screen so this is how you plot your contour on sofa and this is how you export it to what you export it to autocad so these are some other stuff maybe if you want to blind it yeah like perhaps maybe there's a boundary around it. Remember this boundary you're seeing here is actually designed by Sofa. Maybe there's a boundary around it that went this way, came down this way, it went this way, you know, and you want to just shop off those places that uh, are outside the boundary or as the case may be, you can actually use the trim feature, but that's not um, the scope of this video. Yeah, so yeah, thanks, to, thanks for coming to class. Yeah, thanks for coming to class, yes. I hope we've um, provided solution to this um, problem and I hope you've learned a thing or two. Um, we hope to see you again on our next video. Please um, subscribe to the channel, like our video and then um, share with your friends and colleagues. And then make sure you keep staying safe and then we'll see you on the next video. And until then, bye and have a nice time. Yeah.